Welcome back. It's Happy sandwich break. day. It's sandwich day. Um, you see what happened was... That's from Lilo and Stitch. It's, it's sandwich, sandwich day. day. <laughs> Every Tuesday, I have, I have to go... I have to make Pudge the Fish a peanut butter sandwich. But today, we were out of peanut butter. So I asked my sister what to give him, and she said tuna. Do you know what tuna is? Fish? Fish? It's fish! If I gave Pudge tuna, I'd be an abomination! So I had to go to the store to get peanut butter because all we had was stinking, stinking tuna! Anyway, today is Sandwich Day. And I made myself a grilled cheese. And she made me a grilled cheese too. And then I asked her if Ain't she wanted... Ain't that the truth? You can't even see my sandwich. See that? Well, that's and then I asked the her if she sandwich. wanted me to make a hot dog a jalapeno or jalapeno um, hot dog. They're organic, so no worries. We're good like that. Okay, it's November. Um, it's December. December. Look out. What Seven heck? days. <laughs> <laughs> right, <clears throat> so I found out that there's like no monthly thing for December. Nothing. For like the national calendar. Nothing. There's nothing. There's no like peanut butter month and family literacy month and blah de blah. What is this crap that you have? Ketchup and mustard. How did I do that? I don't know. How did you do that? Okay. So today, speaking of family literacy month, there's Family Literacy Day! Take it away. What does that mean? Family we like to literacy. read together? Yeah. Literacy. The family that reads together stays together. Reads all sorts of stuff. So, we're going to talk about that and authors. Perfect. And then I'll move on if uh, there's something else, if there's time. So, Family Literacy. I read to my kids. All Every day. Time. Sometimes more than one time a day. It's true. And my favorite books, as I've mentioned, for children, are Dr. Seuss. They're the funnest books to read. But that one Mr. Brown can move is really, is that Dr. Seuss? Mm hmm. Oh, never mind. What about Skippy John Jones? I think oh, that yeah, one's that's super true. fun to read because it you read it in a moy moy thought. Skippy John Jones is hilarious and fun to read, but Dr. Seuss is the more memorizable ones. I don't know. Skippy John Jones was nuts about Marsh. I know, but it doesn't rhyme. It's not like a catchy tune. Well, my name is Skippy Joe for I know, but I know. But the whole book, I mean. Apparently somebody's here. Apparently somebody's here. My dog is freaking out. Stressing out. And we outside. don't have a microphone yet. So, this I is... I think you guys are slightly tilted. Sorry about that. Sorry. This is my grandpa's hat. Hi. I took it. It's mine. I have one, too. And it... Sometimes, it's in my car. Sometimes it still smells like him. That sounds weird, but, you know. He had a very doesn't particular scent. I didn't sound weird. <laughs> doesn't smell weird. <laughs> Maybe on sandwich day I should actually, you know, eat part of my sandwich instead of just picking out on this hot dog. So, what's your favorite sandwich? Mm -hmm. Mine? I used to work at a sandwich place. Bologna. <laughs> no. No. I'm kidding. We had an entire episode on Bologna. I know. I used to work at a sandwich place. It wasn't Subway. That place is crap. But, this place is kind of crap too, but it tastes really good. So they had these... Amazing spinach wraps, and you you could order your sandwich on the wrap. I would get like it would be loaded. It was loaded with deliciousness. I didn't really work in sandwich place. Wimpy, mm, wimpy. Oh right. <clears throat> I used so, to go there to see her. So you go. <laughs> so you get meat, and then you get lettuce and tomato. Obviously, you would have to hand slice classics. The meat too. Yeah. It was sliced right in front of you. And then you catch it, put it on, 
And you. <coughs> I keep choking on my spit. <laughs> I guess I should get a drink. So then you put the pepperoncinis slash pickle. No, the little, no, the little teeny peppers. What are they called? Banana, banana, banana peppers. Yeah, that some people call pepperoncini, some people call them banana peppers. I actually call them banana peppers, which is the one I forgot, which is weird. Anyway, put that on it. Tons of vinegar. Pour that stuff on. Mm. And then you put cheese. Cheese. Oh yeah, duh. Like. Tomatoes, lettuce, onions. Yes, yes. Mm. No, no onions. No onions? Raw onions are too strong a flavor. They That's cover up everything raw. else. Not as strong as pork. Anyway, so then you wrap it all up. I'm trying to think there's something else I'm missing. Oh yeah, olives. Delicious. Wrap pickles. it up. I did put pickles. They said pickles. You put it on the grill. Tomatoes? Because they do have one of those... Huh? Tomatoes? I said tomatoes. Right. Spinach. Spinach? There's something else. Mm -hmm. Sauce. Like ranch mm -hmm. or mayonnaise, mustard, whatever. Okay, All the no. above. And then you put it... Yeah, you roll it up and then you put it on this little like Bacon. hot... This hot grill that they had. And you <clears throat> grill it so that the you top and bottom, the top and bottom of it is like... Has lines in it. And you cut it in half, and you eat it, and it's so good! Oh, I haven't had that for a long time. I can't eat wheat anymore. Plus, it's in the form of sourdough. Mm-hmm. Sourdough. I can't eat yeast, either. Which, the wraps, they are gluten-free. I could eat those, because they're more yeast in them. No. Anyway, that's a good sandwich. And yeah, it depends. I think I got turkey most of the time. And that meat is from not very good sources, I don't think. Probably not. Not in like hippie town or something. <laughs> anyway. Now we're gonna talk about authors. Not just children's authors. I understand. What's that one day? So I remembered a book that I really, really loved that I've read more than once. Actually two, I just remembered another one. There's this one called Murder for Her Majesty. I've read that book at least three times. I think I've read that. It's where this little girl pretends to be a little boy in the choir to protect herself because her dad got killed. And then... I don't remember. I don't remember books very well. What about Hagwad? Yes, I remember that book. That's a book I remembered yesterday. Murder for Her Majesty is the one I just remembered right now. Thank you guys for helping me remember that book. I knew there were other books that I've read more than once. I read Dragon Lance, which is by Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss. 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 They're all. No, some of them were written by their children. Oh. They had an extension, and their kids have started writing them. Well, I don't read any of the new ones. I know. the The original trilogy is the best out of all of the books because they have multiple trilogies. That one's the best, and then it kind of just gets worse. Not now. just multiple trilogies, multiple series. Like some it's of true. them have like seven, eight books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's single books, but there's no books that are, there's no series that are longer than three. Series? Yep. Believe it. Well, and Ian Carr, she did really good on the mm. first book, and the other two. We're not as good, but the first ones are the best. And the other ones are good, but they're just not as good. I couldn't handle it when... It's kind of like Snape dying. What's his name? Dustfinger. He didn't die. He did you die. They brought him back to life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But he died. When he died, I was like, No! Nah! I hate the alert. Sorry. Sorry. I was mad. Dustfinger is my favorite character in the whole book. Just like Snape. He died and he doesn't come back to life. Spoiler alert. Except for if you meet him again later. Anyway. Kind of. Did you read it? Cursed Child? Oh no. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, she's just going to spoil all the books for you. We're going to move on now. We're going to talk about authors. I really like Suzanne Collins. She's pretty. Gregor the Overlander. 
The Hunger Games. Looks like a classic, like Charles Dickens. How many Charles Dickens books have you read? Well, I haven't read Great Expectations, I can tell you that right now. Well, what have you read by him? How can you talk about him if you don't know? The Christmas Carol. I read that. The real one? Or like the shortened kid version? I've read the one that's like 98 pages. Maybe it's longer than that. I don't think so. It's short. It's little. Anyway, Charles oh. Dickens. What about Oliver Twist? Or Tell Two Cities? David Copperfield? All right. I'm just mentioning because he's a classic. I don't know. <laughs> what about Jules Verne, Victor Hugo, Hemingway, Ernest. What books do you like to read as a family? These are the kinds of books I know I like to What's read. What's your favorite sandwich? What about Jane Austen? That's true too. She was a classic. Tell us all your favorites. We I love like you. classics in sci-fi fantasy. Thank so, you. you know, if you have a favorite sci-fi fantasy or classic book, shoot it my way, and I will read it. And I will tell you what I think. Oh, yeah. Sword of Truth series. That's oh, a good one. Mm -hmm. Very long. Very, yeah, because very he's long. Because written three other books that you haven't read. Whatever. Sword of Truth. And also the Wheel of Time series I haven't finished, but it's good. <gasps> the Giver. Did you know that was a trilogy? I'm sorry. I can't like that book. I don't like that book. The Giver. ending is terrible. That's why there's three books. I didn't know that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, we love you. Comment, subscribe, subscribe share, like all, all our pages. Stuff. We love you. We love you. And may adventures be in your tarjetas or cards.